hello loves hi extending your kind regards from here because you're welcome to this vlog okay right um this was about 10 p.m at night and prior to that time i was actually reading the script you see next to me and i was feeling so tired so i had to go take a late night bath which is what i usually do whenever i need to read very late and i'm starting to feel really tired so right after taking my bath i was here applying some lotion on me it's um cousin's baby lotion and yes i apply lotion on my face provided it's a baby lotion because i know it is mild it's not going to react to my very fragile skin yeah so i was done with the lotion and kept it right back next up i took the cream i bought at a pharmacy to apply it all around my neck because guys I've been having like heat rashes around my neck and this um, cream was recommended to me at the pharmacy to help clear the little rashes so yeah I need my neck to be super clear because I'm about to go film an epic movie my neck will always be bare so of course it needs to look the part you see anyway now that I'm done with that I just want to quickly go change into my nighty that i've done and oh i wish i just had to sleep you guys but nah sleep is way too much luxury right now but the first thing i did now was to take my phone and turn it on which by the way i turned it off because i didn't want any kind of distractions but i was expecting my mom's call from the state so i had to turn on my phone at this point knowing that i already achieved reading a lot so yeah here i'm trying to carry on reading from where i stopped and that's just what I'm doing so I carried on reading and at this point guys I was so tired like I was so dizzy my back was paining me you know I feel like I really do need a reading table and I will definitely work towards that anyway so I just adjusted my pillow to lie down on it and read some more but yes when you see me taking this position know that I'll crash in a bit and I did just that <laughs> It's about raining and the weather is so dull. Look at the trees. God, I love when the breeze... Oh my God, look at that. I love when it's about raining and the breeze is so strong. Literally moving the trees about like that. It really just makes me admire nature some more. Uh, look at Desmond. Why are you laughing at me now? Desmond, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Desmond is laughing at me for admiring nature. Must I be Oibo before I admire nature? Eh? Yes. So I'm not Igbo. So I'm not Igbo now. <laughs> Your grand uncle. <laughs> so look at that, guys. Isn't nature beautiful? I know, right? Uh, let's get back to the main one. Look at the tree, guys. I don't know. This video is not really doing justice to this tree, but it blows it and makes it so cute. Like I'm literally standing out here just looking at this see see oh I love it anyway let me not bore you guys with my nature hey hi good morning or good whatever time you're watching this vlog okay but it is morning over here as you must have seen from the previous clip um, I woke up a while back the weather has just been what it is and I used the time to clean up, you know, I've done quite some chores this morning. I couldn't film it because I was trying to be fast. And then the good thing that happened to me yesterday was reading my script completely. I mean, I didn't finish it before going to bed, but I much later woke up around 3 a.m. to read it on until like 5 a.m. I was done. Then I slept again for an hour and by 6 I was up. So I've done my chores and the weather is just what it is out there and I'm loving it. Guys, if you don't know me, but no, just know that... I have a thing for nature. I love I love the weirdest of things. The fact that the trees are blowing, the breeze and everything. Even though Desmond is trying to remind me that I'm not Oibo to be liking nature. But who says only Oibo is allowed to like nature? You guys. Um, Yeah, that is uh, by the way. So I want to lose my hair. Okay, I really want to lose this hair. And guys, this hair of mine is only 8 days old. What am I saying? Eight days? No, it's actually a week. It's just seven days old because um, today makes it a week I made this hair, yeah? And I have to lose it. Why? Because I am preparing to go film out of town. I'm traveling tomorrow, so I'll be going to film out of town. And you already know that when it comes to movies, you get to do 
the hairstyle that is required of your character in the movie you don't get to film with the hairstyle you would rather film with you see so that is why i hardly or never make my hair because i know that what's the point making my hair when i'm gonna have to lose it in less than a week i'm gonna just like making my hair is just a great way to waste my money because i know what is the point so i think i am officially justified for not always making my hair so when you watch my vlogs and always see me having my hair all weaved back understand that <laughs> a girl knows better not to waste her money given what job she's in so for the most part i'm wearing wigs but again this country is too hot so i only wear wigs on set and every other normal day i have my hair weaved all back and a girl is good to go you see <laughs> anyway let's get back to losing this hair after which we are gonna wash it Guys, I'm so pained about losing this hair. I haven't even rocked it, you guys. I have not rocked this hair. Ah, oh, I haven't rocked this hair, guys. I've not rocked this hair. Damn. Oh, should I lose it, guys? Are you sure? I should? All right, then. Deal. Hmm. I just hope I'm not cutting my hair. Hey, I must have cut my hair though. God help me. This kind of looks like another hairstyle, right? I know. <laughs> look at that. Guys, I low key wish I didn't have to lose this hair for real. Like, I wish I didn't have to, but it is what it is, so. Apparently we are done now and it's about time we go wash this hair guys I can't wait for that feeling of water touching my scalp like the feeling is just divine the feeling is just heavenly oh I can't wait I can't wait this would literally be me in the bathroom being silly i know right yeah anyway um this is just a quick hug guys um whenever you're relaxing your hair yeah don't allow don't allow relaxer touch the tip okay like how am i gonna put it okay whenever i'm relaxing my hair i relax just the base right like Relax just the base part, which is here, like the, the base where you have the undergrowth. Do not allow the relaxer even extend to as much as the middle of the length of your hair. Just relax just the undergrowth. That way, your hair will always be healthy. Always, always. It wouldn't be breaking too much. You won't have anything like those very light tips while the, uh, the, while the base of your hair is all that thick. Now, relaxing all parts of your hair makes it, it damages the hair. And also... If you look at my hair, you see that, okay, my hair was relaxed before I made it. But you see that the base, right, the length of the base, sorry, the thickness of the base is the same thickness of the body. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I'm sure you know what I mean. Yeah. So relax just the base, okay? You can thank me later. Anyway, let's go to the bath and dance. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I am, boo. This is Big Brother. <laughs> Guys, Big Brother is whatever life I live in my house, yo. You can't tell me nothing. <laughs> anyway, so this was right after washing my hair properly as well as scrubbing my body, yeah? I felt they need to be in the bathroom some more and just have water pour on my scalp as much as possible. Now, whenever you see me spend time in the bathroom much more than I usually would, rest assured that I am in the mood for affirmations yes people i affirm a lot and you can always do your affirmations from anywhere at all but for the most part i affirm a lot in the bathroom because when i do them in the bathroom they tend to really stick with me so so much you guys now just to share a few of my bathroom affirmations or the affirmations i was saying right here um here you go i am gorgeous i am a part of god I am the peace of the Creator. I am walking brilliance. 
I am total understanding. I am allergic to judging others. I am wise counsel. I am walking brilliance. I am the love of God. I am on the right track and I am winning. I will do well. I am succeeding. Amen. So I feel good. So I've had such a great time in the shower and I didn't want to get out, trust me. It felt so refreshing in there. Anyway, now I'm out and it's about time we pack, which I hate. I hate packing for a travel, you guys, because I don't know how to pack. So for the most part, I end up packing way too many things than I actually need. Hold up, let me adjust this because it's making me look naked. All right, so I end up packing way too many things that I actually need. And when I get to the where, wherever I'm traveling to, I realize that oh, that was way too much. I realize that I don't need three quarters of everything I packed. Based on that experience, the next time I'm packing for a travel, I end up packing small. But then when I get there, I realize that I need three quarters of everything I didn't come with, you see. So it just... It's just kind of tricky like that for me and makes me dread packing. Now, I've been watching a couple of channels here on YouTube, you know, tips on how to pack for a one-week trip, what you should take along, what you shouldn't. But they are all talking about, oh, when you're flying, you know, another country or this, you're traveling, you need to take the, 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 the you know, their tips and idea of traveling is revolving around a vacation you know you are traveling for a vacation when you're flying and i'm like i'm not flying boo i am going by um public transport and where i'm going is two hours away so i'm not flying <laughs> they are not really addressing how to pack on um, they are not really giving tips on how to pack when it comes to travels that has something to do with my kind of travel you see oh so I might not show you guys when I'm packing because I'm not about to have you guys see that. I don't know how to pack, but who cares? Who really cares? <laughs> anyway, let's see what we can do. <laughs> right guys so um this is just vitamin c which i love taking very much it sells like some sort of juice for me so when i'm craving for juice all of the sweets that is not too healthy i just go ahead and take this yeah it comes in tablet form so you put it in water it's gonna evaporate and voila mm. you're good to go anyway at least i forget I remember that I didn't tell you guys who I'm going to film for in Emo State. I'm actually going to film for Rich Rock Productions. That is another boss when it comes to filmmaking. Like when I say boss, I mean big boss. Yeah, right. So um, he's he's the producer of this film we are going to do, and the executive producer of the film is Rock. Okay, it's a rock movie. So yeah, I'm excited for this project. I have an important story time to share with you guys about how. I started working with Rich Rock Productions, guys. That company is another company that getting there in is not easy, but your girl did that. And I've got to tell you the story. So make sure you don't miss it because it's going to be so inspiring. It's going to boost you and motivate you to keep going because you have to keep going till you win, boo. That's what you're here for, to win or win, okay? Oh, I can't wait. So make sure you don't miss that story, please. Make sure you don't, okay? I'll be sharing the story when I get there from their set, probably in my costume. <laughs> Ah, cheese. Yep, 
of course we are back to the signature hairstyle <laughs> by the way this is the next day um i had to go with my hair like this because i didn't want my hair flying all over the place and i just did it into six because i know that i'm gonna lose it first thing when i arrive the destination wherein we are filming anyway let's carry on with this parking and travel okay so this is one of my boxes which I believe you must have seen in my previous videos but I can't exactly use this box to travel because it is so big it looks quite small in the video but it is quite big so I'm gonna go to the other options that I have in my guest room let's take a look and see which is gonna fit this trip okay so the upper part of this wardrobe is where I keep my boxes yeah my other boxes so yeah let me just you know so these are the options we have here. Here we've got three and the other one. Now the gold one is a bit too big for the trip as well. And then I feel like these other two, the black and the gray are slightly small. And then this red one, I don't know if it's, I feel like it is too colorful for me to take to a village. It might just get all stained. So I just might end up using this back instead. Oh, I think there's something there in Oops. <laughs> okay, let's see what's there. Here is a magazine of a movie I did which was premiered in the UK. So the lady made a magazine for it. And this is just some body sprays I got ever since. I even forgot I still had them here. And this is a palette my friend gave me, which I kept in this box just because, in this bag rather, just because I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I'll figure out how to use it. Don't judge me. This is a sanitizer. And what is... Okay, this is a long range, um liquid soap. I got it from my mom, you know. So, anyway, let's go pack. By the way guys this bag is a joy you know i've always been the kind of person that if i'm not traveling with a box i tend to feel very inferior about the bag i'm carrying so i got to see this bag with my mom guys you know my mom was like feel this bag is even more expensive than buying an actual expensive box and i'm like oh please i'm not interested in it she actually bought it for me and the way I talked about it without even seeing it, she was like, okay, don't worry, I'll keep it. Guys, when I got to see the bag, I'm like, nah, I need this bag in my life. Like, first of all, look at the, look at the pockets. You've got like all these pockets here where you can keep like your undies and then here you can keep some other stuff, maybe your makeup, your brushes or whatever. And then on the inner part of the bag, you've got like two other pockets I don't know if I'm showing you guys properly. Yeah, you've got a pocket here and another one here. And you've got the same thing on the other side as well, you see. <sighs> Am I showing you guys this properly? You've still got a pocket here and here as well. I just love the bag, guys. The quality, the leather, it is so... Like, literally, even when I'm traveling with a big box, I still fold this bag and put it into the box because sometimes, like, when I go to Cameroon, I might just, Dwala might be where I'm going to stay all through my vacation in Cameroon. But then I might need to see one or two um, family members in maybe another nearby city like Limbe or uh, Boya or Babenda. And then instead of carrying the entire big box I came with from Nigeria to go visit a relative, I just go ahead and take this box which I folded into the big box and traveled therein with. And I just pick a few of the things I actually need and put it here and it's so handy and yet it takes a lot i really love this book this um sorry this bag guys if you run into a bag like this don't be like me who claims it is not a box it's not bougie it's local now nah, some bags are legit better than boxes trust me and this is one of them this really is one of them anyway that is by the way so i don't think i'm going to be showing you guys the whole packing process of this video because <laughs> my packing is just going to be all over the place but yes just to show you a few of my essentials yeah um this wrapper is always a must for me guys whenever i'm traveling especially if i'm going like to a village I don't trust what their, their hotel services is going to be like. I always take my wrapper. Even when I'm going to a grand hotel, 
I just take my wrapper to still be on the safe side because if you go into a hotel where they don't change their bed sheets and do this every day, what are you going to do? So I always trust my mom's wrapper to do the job when it comes to covering my body at night when I'm sleeping. Sometimes I take two. So I put one on the bed wherein I am um, sleeping as I use and sleep on the part where it has the wrapper. Then I use the other one to cover my body. <laughs> It's the OCD in me treating me like that, guys. I can't trust any other person's bedsheet, really. Yep, so the wrapper is a yes, yes. It's an essential for me. And then the towel is another part I look at it. Because this is the big towel. So I'm going to tie this when I want to go take my bath, okay? But I always believe that a towel should be washed after every five days or every week at least. So chances are... If I'm going to stay there for filming for up to a week, I will need to change this towel at some point. So then I take the small one, you see. So that's why I'm taking two towels, one big one and one small one, yeah? And then it's always wise to take one little pretty dress. I've never worn this dress before, but it's really pretty. It's a gown, so in case... We need to step out because sometimes when we go filming out of town, there are some nights that the producer might just want to take the entire cast out, you know, maybe for a drink out or for dinner or clubbing. And there's been times like that and I'm just like, what am I going to wear? What am I going to wear? You know what? Y'all just go out, stay back. But nah, honey, I'm not about to stay back if there's a groove. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so... um this is a dress I always take when I'm going to film just because it is tiny. You can roll it up and just put it in a box or in the bag. It doesn't take a lot of space. So this is one extra gown. Then I'm going to add in my tights and then my undies, my um, body sprays, my lotion, my... Um, what else? Maybe a week. Yeah. Okay, and I think this video is long enough. So the next time you see me, I would most probably be saying... um. I am on my way. I am all packed and on my way. Or maybe you would be seeing me in the next vlog. Anyway, if you see the next clip, take it. If you don't, then we came to the end of this vlog. Okay? I love you.